to my channel. I am doing a recipe today for my ranch dressing. Um, I've had a lot of requests for it. I make it all the time. I love it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you how I make it. So I'm going to have the recipe linked down below. Um, I use my own everything but the bagel seasoning. I will link that down below as well. Um, or put it in the description box so that you guys have the recipe for that if you want to. Um, so here are the players in the game. You need Duke's mayonnaise or whatever mayonnaise you want. I've said before, I use Primal when I'm making like my sandwich roll-ups and things like that. Um, but I use Duke's when I'm making dressings and things because it comes in a larger container and it's not quite as expensive to be using all up to make a dressing. Um, so that's what I use for that. Um, but you use what you use, it's all good. So you're gonna need uh, mayonnaise, you're gonna need everything but the bagel seasoning. You're gonna need, I use, um, Thrive Life products, as I've told you guys before. So I use their salad seasoning, um, which is amazing. Um, I believe McCormick makes one as well, but if you look in my link tree, um, my website's on there, you can find these seasonings on there. Um, if not, you can try looking at the grocery store because I think McCormick makes a salad seasoning. But you guys, this seasoning is my favorite seasoning in the world. It's the bomb. I love it. Um, I use it in so many things. So anyway, I'm gonna be using that. Peppercorn and sour cream, a clove of garlic, and some pink salt. And then I store mine in the fridge in a jar, a mason jar, and I just use, use it all week long. Um, it usually lasts about two weeks in my refrigerator. So let's get started and I'll show you how we're gonna make it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a half a cup of my mayo to my bowl. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of my sour cream. All right, so I'm gonna put in my half a cup of sour cream. And then I'll start adding my spices. So I'm gonna do a teaspoon of my pink salt, a teaspoon of my peppercorn, which I'm running low on. So I'm just gonna do it this way. So I think that's about a teaspoon. All right, so a teaspoon of peppercorn. Then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of my everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna give it a good mix before I do it. A tablespoon of that. A tablespoon of my salad seasoning. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. I like a lot. All right. And now I'm going to give this a good mix. Now this is a thick dressing. If you want this thinner, you could add a little bit of either unsweetened almond milk, some heavy cream, or even water if you wanted to, um, or coconut milk, un unsweet. Um, just depending. It does. It the coconut milk kind of affects the flavor a little bit. Um, the heavy cream doesn't, obviously. Um, but I like it thick. Um, it still blends well with your salad. You can use it to dip in um, if you wanted to use it as a dip for a party. You could do that as well. Um, it's really good right away, but it's even better once you put it in the fridge for a little bit. And one variation I've done of this is to add jalapenos or add spicy salsa to it um, if I want to use it for dipping. Also, if I'm if I'm eating like a taco salad, I've mixed the jalapeno. Uh, with it or the salsa just to give it like a spicy dressing that's besides just salsa so I've done that before too and that is it guys that is my ranch it's so good I also forgot the clove of garlic so I'm gonna put the clove of garlic in there and mix it up now the garlic's in it's all done all right guys I hope you uh, make this recipe let me know if you like it down below comment down below if you have any other variations of ranch dressing that you like to make or other dressings um, and I will um, see what I can do in other videos. So I hopefully I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. So please like and subscribe down below if you have not already. I will see you guys in the next video.